Welcome back to Pure Science Education. Today we're looking at the digestive system. Digestive system comes up in the Key Stage 3 and the GCSE curriculum in biology. So let's look at how the digestive system works. So if you look at your food, the food is made out of three main nutrients. The three main nutrients we're looking at are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, which are also known as lipids. Now, the problem with these three large nutrients are that they are large molecules, so our body doesn't have the capacity to break them down. So these are large molecules so they cannot be absorbed into our bloodstream so this is where the digestive system plays uh, a part so what we need to do is during digestion we have different enzymes digestion breaks down large molecules into smaller molecules that can be absorbed by the bloodstream so in order to do that we are going to need special chemicals called enzymes so let's look at the function of an enzyme. So if I was to start, um, the first thing, um, I'll get my food and I start to chew the food. So if I go to the mouth here, mouth, I've got my food, I start to chew it in the mouth. And in the mouth, you have got special um, chemical called saliva, which comes from your salivary glands. And the job of the saliva is to digest starch. Now starch is um, large particles which we need to break down uh, into smaller sugars which can be absorbed by our body. So once um, the food is broken down by the saliva into smaller sugars, it then gets pa passed down the esophagus. Which passes it down to the stomach. Now, the job of the stomach, which is here, is to then break down um, proteins by using pro enzymes called protease. The stomach also has hydrochloric acid. which also further helps the breakdown of protein into smaller particles. Now, the next organ, when the food um, has been broken down in the stomach, goes to its small intestine. Now, what happens is, as the food stays in the stomach for many hours, it goes through a process of churning. During churning, the food then starts to break down into a fluid, this fluid has got a larger surface area, which is easy to be absorbed. So if you look at the next organ here, this is your small intestine, um, where the food has now been changed into a fluid. It goes, now the, the job here is of um, small intestine is where chemicals 
are added which are produced by the liver and the pancreas so livers here and then the pancreas is here so what happens is that um, the pancreas will release enzymes to break down starch and protein and also start digestion of lipids and at the same time the liver will release bile which speeds up the digestion of the food which is in the fluid formation it also neutralizes the acid released from the stomach So, the next organ that from the small intestine where the food goes is in this large intestine and the job of the large intestine is to absorb water into the bloodstream and finally to finish the process of digestion feces are released from the body so feces are all the unwanted and undigested bits of food that the body don't want anymore. Uh, in a summary um, of digestion, you start with the nutrients that are in large molecules. They then get broken down into smaller molecules, which are absorbed by the bloodstream. It then goes to the ma main um, major organs through the digestive system and finally um, get broken down and anything that is not wanted is released as feces i hope this helps um, if you enjoyed the video please subscribe thank you